Good evening, everyone. The Chicago Bears turned some heads when they drafted quarterback Mitch Trubisky with the second pick in the recent NFL draft. That included Iron Mountain native and NFL Network studio analyst Steve Mariucci. Mariucci likes the former North Carolina signal caller, but he won't make the Bears an instant playoff contender. I like Mitch Trubisky over there. He's a heck of a kid. Nobody saw that coming over there to moving up to number two. Nobody. <clears throat> I know Mike Lennon, the quarterback that they signed for $18 million, and then all of a sudden they dropped the guy number two. It's kind of weird, but um, but I don't think the Bears will be a contender whatsoever. They've got a few years to build, and so I think it's a two-horse race with the Lions and the Packers. Mariucci agrees with CBS Sports broadcaster Jay Feely that the New England Patriots are the favorite to win the Super Bowl next February. Northern Michigan University has announced its next Sports Hall of Fame class, which will be inducted during homecoming in September. Women's mas basketball player Mandy Defoe was a standout in the mid-1990s, second in points with 1,605 at the time and 649 rebounds, seventh on the Wildcat list. Abigail Larson was a 2006 Winter Olympian in cross-country skiing. She skied and ran cross-country for NMU and was uh, in the NCAA National Championships in both sports. Jay McQuillan, 1984 to 1989, became the first hockey Wildcat Willie. Have to love NMU for bringing in Wildcat Willie to the Sports Hall of Fame. Rick Pop played football for, in the mid-1980s and quarterbacked the 87 team to the semifinals in Division II. Pauline Schutte, now Hope, played volleyball from 1992 to 95, member of the two national championship teams and a first-team All-American in 1995. The 1979 and 80 hockey team won the CCHA regular season and the tournament and reached the NCAA championship game, losing to North Dakota. The Hall of Fame induction will take place Friday, September 22nd in the Great Lakes Room at 6.30 p.m. Michigan Tech hockey head coach Joe Sean has signed nine recruits for the upcoming season. Three are from Michigan, two from Wisconsin, and one is from California, but his father played for the Huskies. Justin Miziak is a forward from St. Clair Shores, Michigan. He played the last two seasons with the Austin Bruins of the North American Hockey League. Marcus Russell is a forward from Traverse City who played for Topeka of the NAHL and Muskegon of the United States Hockey League last season. Keegan Ford is a defenseman from Wanakee, Wisconsin. He played for the Madison Capitals and the Buke Fighting Saints of the NAHL. His dad and currently one brother played for the Badgers. Tyler Rockwell is a defenseman from San Jose, California, who played for the Wenatchee Wild of the British Columbia Hockey League. Tyler's dad, John, was a tech goalie in the late 1970s. Cooper Watson is a defenseman and the younger brother of recent tech captain Cliff Watson. Cooper played for the Vernon Vipers of the BCHL last season and Madison of the NAHL. Robbie Baydoon is a goalie from Plymouth, Michigan, who was a third-team All-Star for the Waterloo Blackhawks of the NAHL. More info on the recruits can be found on our website. The Escanaba Major Girls 11- and 12-year-old softball team arrived in steamy St. Clair, Michigan tonight for the state tournament. That starts tomorrow at the brand-new Legacy Fields. There are 16 teams from across Michigan at the event. District 11 in the Northern UP did not send a representative, so the host District 7 team has two squads. The Escanaba girls walked through downtown St. Clair with a police and fire escort. Then it was on the town mall for opening ceremonies where all the teams were introduced and the girls posed for pictures. The kids were treated to a picnic dinner. Escanaba takes on Granville out of District 9 tomorrow in their opener. We've got a great team, we've got a great pitching, uh, good offense and defense. It's going to be a good time. Uh, we're looking forward to it very, very much. Uh, great families behind us for support. It's, it's going to be a good, good week. It's definitely going to take a lot of hard work and effort, but we're also going to have to have fun at the same time and be loud and talk. There's lots of good teams here, and I'm excited to play all of them. Escanaba will also face Muskegon White Lake and Jackson County in pool play this weekend. Quarterfinals and semifinals are Monday. The state championship is Tuesday at noon, weather permitting. The state champion advances to the regional tournament in Indianapolis. Some 
Games played this evening in the Southern UP in 9-10 minor softball was Escanaba over Gladstone 7-2. Kingsford held off Norway 8-7. 11-12 major baseball, Norway excuses Munising 11-10. And in Legion baseball, a small tournament in the Southern UP, Nagani defeated Menominee's JV 13-5. A Kingsford native has been named an assistant coach of the Corpus Christi Ice Rays of the North American Hockey League. Ryan Anderson joins the Ice Rays after two seasons with the Norfolk Admirals of the East Coast Hockey League, where he served as the team's video coach and assistant coach. Prior to that, Anderson was an assistant coach with the Hampton Roads Whalers of the U.S. Premier Hockey League. Anderson's start in hockey was different than most. The 31-year-old served in the U.S. Navy in Norfolk, Virginia, as electronics tent technician for six years with two stops in the Persian Gulf, one in Djibouti and one in the Black Sea. His time in Norfolk allowed him to get a connection with the Hampton Roads Whalers. Meanwhile, a former NMU Wildcat and former Marquette electrician hockey player has become an assistant coach for the Bloomington Thunder of the United States Hockey League. Marquette native Andy Contoy joins the Thunder after two seasons as an assistant coach with the Brookings Blizzard of the North American Hockey League. Contoy scored 98 points in his 131 games with the Wildcats, and he was an alternate captain in his senior season. He played four years in the East Coast Hockey League and seven seasons internationally.